Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us do the good work for the Lord today. Uh, before we start, as you know, all of us, we care for the truth and the truth will set us free. And we care for Muslims, we love them, and we are not here to speak against Muslims, we are here to speak the truth. And because actually we love the Muslims, we are going to share the truth. I search in the internet, uh, because you know this uh, uh, Quran and science is exist in every language, and uh, Muslims today, they use it to, uh, you know, I'm speaking about when I say Muslims, I mean those who they are in the business of fooling and scam. Uh, they make books, uh, videos, uh, science, and the Quran, as you see in the front of you. I don't understand the Indonesian language. Dr. Dari, sorry, Dari, Kiri Kamal, Kiri, Hamza, Dan, Noor, Jonah, whatever, blah, 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 okay. And supporting, this is the topic, is the uh, Quran and science. And the article here in front of us speaking about the science of the Quran. I mean, the Quran is full of science. Are, are you kidding me? I mean, it's obviously, this is the book of Allah. And because it's a book of Allah, Allah is all about science. So, I don't speak Indonesian language, but I searched. I go. I went to Google Translation. I type Quran and science, and then I translate to Indonesian. And then I found some websites which is speaking about this topic. And we are going to die laughing at those science. So this is a video made especially for Indonesian people. You see, I'm, I'm keeping the text as it is in the front of you. Uh, and I don't know really what it says there. But what I will do, I'm going to use Google Translation so I can read. But for you as an Indonesian, you do not need Google Translation for sure. Right? So let me do that. And in a few minutes, you will see that those who claim that there is a science in the Quran, they are not only bad people, they are committing crimes. Because you see, a criminal is not only just one who take your money, uh, uh, kill you. There's many ways of committing crimes. And one of them is to control your mind. And that will control your money too. Like now, if we open the YouTube, we will find uh, find a commercial of donation. There is an Islamic relief. They keep asking for donation, and this donation, most of it, go to Al Qaeda. And actually, I made a video about it before uh, Al Qaeda and ISIS in Syria. All the food they send there, it goes to ISIS and Al Qaeda. But it's one part of the game. How we can get your money so we can support the Mujahideen, and maybe we can establish Islamic State of killing like ISIS. So here in front of us, we have a website speaking about seven uh, amazing modern science found in the Quran. What are they? I don't know really what are they. Let us see the first one. You see here, I do not need, need to use Google Translation to, uh, to understand this one because they have the verse for me in Arabic. مَرْجُ الْبَحْرَيْنِ يَلْتَقِيَانْ بَيْنَهُمَا بَرْذَخٌ لَا يَبْغِيَانْ Okay, what this is a scientific miracle is about simply the Muslim they say to you the Quran claim that uh, fresh water and salty water they don't mix because we spoke I have my book about it you know I have my book Quran and science and we made it available for Indonesian people for free in Indonesian language one of the funny things I see uh, in uh, in those uh, uh, claimed miracle that all of them, they came from a guy, his name is Harun Yahya. Let me introduce to you Harun Yahya before we start talking about this. Harun Yahya, this is why you find his name in my book, because at that time, there was nobody, this, all of them, they are copying Harun Yahya. Harun Yahya is this guy. who is arrested for sex business and human trafficking. He's a sheikh. He's a sheikh. But this sheikh, he have a special uh, uh, always version around him. All this Quran and science came from this guy. All of it. He's a Turkish guy. He, right now he's in jail 
for sex and human trafficking, for using minors for sex business, and that his real, real name, Adnan Oktar. Adnan Oktar. So all this um, uh, madness of Quran and science came from someone he himself already is proven to be a fraud. And the rest are copying his books. All what you see in the front of you in the internet is copied from this guy. There's a, there's a guy, his name uh, Yusuf State, who claimed to be, used to be a minister, a Christian minister, but the fact that's not true, as many of them, they are fraud. Uh, he said that this is the book, this is the book who helped him to, uh, to explain Islam, the book of this guy. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if the claim is coming from someone like this, so what the claim will be? What the claim is going to be? That we are going to investigate that. Uh, I found more pictures of Adnan Oktar. Actually, I, I, I think he's doing good. To be honest with you, I mean, that's nice. Not like me. Hello. Look at this. This guy is a, this is a missionary for Allah. Oof. That's a, a lot of missionary work. Hmm. I mean, oh boy. Um, <coughs> uh, uh, I forgot the topic, you know, after looking at those pictures. What was the topic? I'm, I'm not sure what was, what we were talking about. Um, uh, let me uh, try to remember. Uh, we were talking about uh, oil prediction, oil uh, philosophy, philosophy. Well, what we were talking about, I'm, I'm not sure, you know. I, oh, okay, forget about it. Anyway, who cares what we were talking about? This is the true Islam. This is the guy who is behind Quran and science, and all the rest are copying from him. As simple as that. And I challenge anyone to say it is not true. It's a challenge, you know? So uh, science can be proven in many ways. Can be proven by short skirt. Can be proven by uh, Vodka and wine can be proven by belly dancing. Uh, what is that? Oh boy. Okay, what was the topic? Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay, I think the topic was about uh, coronavirus. What we were talking about, I forgot really. What, what is that? Let us go back to our topic. Forget about the madness. So when those people, they come to us and they say Quran and science, and the one who made Quran and science appear and exist in this new age is this guy. Do the Muslims investigate who is this and what is that? I don't think so. And I will prove it to you in two seconds. As an example here, about the two water will not mix. A new Indonesian be my judge. Actually, this is not only not a science, this is a big stupid mistake in the Quran. You as a Muslim, you should leave Islam right now as we speak for what the Quran said. Why? Because the Quran says, The God of Islam claimed that the fresh water is a sea and the salty water is a sea and they don't ever mix. Now, did science say water, salty water and fresh water don't mix? Absolutely, it's a lie. You see, they show you uh, like a, a, a current of uh, uh, water going inside the other, other water and suppose they are not mixing. The fact they are mixing, they are mixing every second, but because there is a current, running current of a fresh water, always there is a new fresh water. Otherwise, you can try it right now. Go to your home, you go to your kitchen, mix some salt with water, and bring some fresh water and then put them both in one container. Let us see if the fresh water and the salty water will mix or not. <laughs> I will take you to a second. You will see they are mixing right away. So what science says, 
because there's a huge amount of water of a fresh water go inside a huge amount of water which is a fresh water that a huge amount of fresh water because there's a current there's a continuous of water coming that will take is, is go the lie what the Quran is speaking about is a mistake why because the Quran claimed that Allah he separated totally between the fresh water and the salty water and they never mix let us go to the Quran so we can love together Oops, I'm typing in English again. Those pictures made me uh, forget Arabic. <clears throat> what I can say. This is what happened to you when you are a single. Alhamdulillah. You see, Muslims, the word Barzakh is exist in three verses in the Quran, as we showed in the screen in front of us. بينهما برزخ لا يبغيان وهذا ملح أجاج وجعل بينهما برزخا وحجرا محجورا even here it says حجرا so what does that mean let us see how we can get them busted the Quran says and I will show you translation in Indonesian language too so you don't just read because I want somebody to help me in the end you know what I do not need help really I will use Google translation hold on uh, let us go and open the Quran, Google Translation. Uh, sorry, first uh, the Indonesian language. Uh, <clears throat> All right, let us take chapter 25, verse number 53. And we will use here the Indonesian language, Basha. Uh, Indonesian language, Indonesian, here we go. Basha Indonesian. Now I don't speak Indonesian language as you know, so what we will do, I'm going to take the text as it is, post it in Google Translation, and we will see what they are saying here. Copy, translate. And it is he who let the two seas flowing side by side. One is a fresh and the other is salty, bitter. And he make between them walls and boundary, which stand away. Well, that alone is enough to make you leave Islam. You see, Indonesian people, he just said, there's two seas. Do you agree that the fresh water is a sea? Anyone agree that the fresh water is a sea? Who is an Indonesian Muslim here agree that the fresh water is a sea? Which one in the Indonesian language is the word uh, uh, fresh, uh, uh, two seas, two seas? Uh, the Walut, I think last time we said Lut, right? Lut. So the, the Walut is the fresh sea. I remember from last time. Okay, so here they say, okay, Indonesian, my friends, do you agree that the fresh water is a sea and the salty water is a sea? You see, when we say the word sea, the word sea is clear. The, the Quran did not use river, did not use a lake. He used the word sea, Bahar. Bahar. That alone is a mistake. Because the second you say Allah he made the fresh water is a sea and the salty water is a sea, that means all the fresh water is connected to each other. It is one body of water. It is a sea. It's so huge. Correct? But this is absolutely false. So the foolish Muhammad, he thought that under in the ground, there is a sea is running. And that sea is a fresh sea. And there is a sea in the top of the ground that is a salty sea. And that is a stupid mistake. Now, is the Quran talking about the river going inside the ocean as uh, as Muslims they show us in YouTube? Like if you go on YouTube, let me let me show you. <clears throat> show you some images. Let 
and show you how they lie. Here we go, as an example. And here you can tell the Photoshop of this, uh, you know. Uh, fresh water meet the water. Uh, sweet water and salt water. And you see here, the Muslims, they are making for you the videos to make you believe that this is from Allah. It's a miracle. But the fact not a single scientist, he says, fresh water and, and salty water don't mix. That's stupid lie. Secondly, the Quran is not even talking about a river and a sea mixing together. The Quran is speaking about something totally different. This is why it says they never met. You see, the Quran not only saying they don't mix, the Quran is saying they don't meet. They don't even meet. You see how they lie to you? How we can prove that this is what it says? Very easy. Let us go to Uncle Ab Ibn Kathir. How are you, Uncle Ibn Kathir? Is the Muslim going to say Ibn Kathir is a stupid, he do not know Arabic, he is lying to us, he is working for a Christian prince? Uh, what about a Jalalain, a Qurtubi, a Tabari? I mean, obviously, all of them, they work for a Christian prince. It's obvious, you know, all of them. So, chapter 25, verse number 53, Ibn Kathir. Let us put Ibn Kathir. All right, and we will zoom so you guys you can read with us <clears throat> the text. Let us go down here. The, the explanation for those uh, verses you will see it, but to make it simple, you can read it all of it. You will see that he is getting them busted with their lies, but to make it more clear, it says here. وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَهُمَا بَرْزَخًا وَحِجُرًا بَرْزَخًا وَحِجُرًا What does that mean? <laughs> the word is so clear. There's a complete barrier between them. Complete! Not only... <laughs> there is a, they don't meet, they don't touch each other. He has set a barrier, complete partition between them, meaning between the salty water and the fresh water. And the barrier is... A barzakh. What barzakh in Arabic? Which has a dry land. Do you see Muslims how they fool you and they lie to you? Do you think really that all those who made those books and all those who made those articles about Quran and science, none of them noticed that the word barzakh in Arabic is a dry land? Is that possible? Is it possible or they did it in purpose to lie to you? So what the Quran is saying actually, not only it is not scientifically accurate, it is a mistake. It's a, it's a, it's a proving that Allah is a fraud because the God of Islam, the stupid Muhammad, he thought that the fresh water and the salty water, they are totally different. They don't mix, but the fact all the salty, all the fresh water is coming from the salty water. In the cycle of rain, Simply, the ocean is the, a source of water, let us say most of it, because there is already lakes in different places. Uh, water vibrate by the heat of the sun. The water will become a cloud, uh, the, a cloud, steam, and then the steam will gather together and become so heavy to the point, uh, uh, you know, cannot be carried in the air, and then will fall down when it meet like a different temperature, will fall down as a rain or as a snow, depend. So look how they lie to you, what it was a joke, what it was a horrible mistake in the Quran, suddenly it became a scientific miracle. So do you see how they lie to you? So now what we discover that the scientific uh, miracle in the Quran is a scientific error in the Quran. And now if you are a true Muslim, you should leave Islam. Because what kind of God he thinks such a thing? What kind of God he think such a way? You see here, we cannot say this is a hadith. Uh, maybe it's fabricated. Maybe it's a, this is Quran. If you remember the guy from Indonesia, which his name is insane, or they call him insane, sorry. 
uh, actually he, he just made a video I, I, I did not see it I just saw it now uh, uh, he posted a video about the Sun is not sitting in murky water and he said <laughs> the Quran is not making this error <laughs> it's Alexander the Great when the Quran says the clear words that the Sun set in a murky spring of water spring not ocean so look what happened here they avoid that the Quran saying the word ocean, but isn't it obvious? I mean, when you say sea, why the Quran saying sea? Can you explain to me, Muslims, how the how the fresh water became a sea? Where we can find the sea of a fresh water? Where we can find the sea of a fresh water? There's two seas in this world. One is salty and one is a fresh. Where we can find the sea which is a fresh? stupid mistake because Muhammad he learned that people they dig in the ground they find water uh oh so we have a sea of water under the ground and we have a sea which is salty in the top of the ground the spring of water of Zamzam is coming from the sea which is a fresh water from under the ground obviously hello <laughs> you see it you see the stupidity and now they want you to be stupid and believe in their stupid lie. You know, not only we can show you Ibn Kathir, we can show you all interpretation you want. And you tell me, I mean, why Muslim scholars, they will lie? Uh, I mean, in the old days, why they are saying this is a complete barrier? Uh, why they are saying this is a barrier, uh, which is uh, uh, rocks and stones, it's a dry land. Why they want to say such a thing if it's not what it's saying? And why somebody, he claimed to be a sheikh for you or ustaz in Indonesia, he make a book fooling you saying this is about a miracle which about two water mixing but they are not mixing at the same time. When in fact the story is the opposite. And the Quran is so clear, it says they don't mix. They don't mix ever. You see the Quran not only like because scientists they say when the two a, a body of water they you know it take time for them to mix but it says here they don't mix he forbid them if we read I don't know what English like we, we went to Google to see what the Google is saying it says here in the Google translation one is a fresh and one is salty better and he make between them two walls and boundary And what is the purpose? To make them not to meet. They never met. They can. They are not allowed to transgress you know, one from the other. And that is impossible. That is a stupid mistake. How come none of you saw it? How come none of you Muslims who speak Indonesian notice that there is a mistake here? Even, even in, the, in your language, that it doesn't make sense. Because it says they will not meet. So what those pictures in YouTube is about? Showing you... Uh, a salty uh, ocean and then the river going inside and supposedly the water have two colors and Allahu Akbar this is a miracle the Quran spoke about that when the Quran says they never meet never never and this is why Ibn Kathir is saying clearly they don't meet why because there is a dry land he has set a barrier and complete partition between them complete meaning between the fresh water and the salty water. So they will never meet. Uh, we have uh, we have Abbas here. Look what Abbas he said. You know Abbas, uh, you know, I, I like I like your comment, but I like to say to you, don't be upset from me when I say things to you. You are a certified donkey. Look what Abbas said. You are wrong again. Barzakh simply mean a barrier, and a barrier can be non-visible force. For example, life in this world and hereafter, okay, called death. Quran 23, verse number 100. You see, you are just as stupid again. The barzakh, my friend, in that verse is about you crossing a bridge. That is a barzakh, your donkey. It's not something, not physical still. Not in, it's not invis it's a, it's not visible for you now but it's visible it is real
supposedly. You are stupid, you are an idiot. You just code for me. You see, here we go. Just to show you how stupid you are, a Muslim proper. I will go to Ibn Kathir and I will read the interpretation for the verse you gave me. And then what you will say to me? Are you going to admit that you are a donkey? Or you will say Ibn Kathir is a donkey? Choose one. So we will go to the chapter this guy he chose for us. Because the barzakh you are talking about, you are going to walk over it, you idiot. It's not, it's still, it is a complete barrier. <laughs> All right, let us go to the verse he is talking about. Chapter 23, verse number 100. And by the way, uh, as long as you mention those verses there, you, you give us a chance to love more. Why? It's, you will see why. All right. All right. Hmm. This is your Ibn Kathir. And this is the word Barzakh. Are you laughing at yourself already or not yet? So you cannot pass it. So it is still a complete barrier. You want to send me? To, you want to say to me it's invisible now because Muhammad is making a lie. Where is it? Where it is? The same as Gog and Magog. Where are they? But it's still, it's a complete barrier between them. Do you see it? So what you are saying to me, it's invisible. But it's still, it's a piece of rock. Mean in front of them and behind them. Read, and in front of them barzakh, and in the front of them there is a barzakh. So what they are mean? which means they are jailed. The barzakh is a barrier. It's not invisible. It's for, invisible for you now, but you will see it supposedly in the judgment day. So barzakh always is coming as a complete barrier and it is obviously a piece of rock. And we can go right now to the dictionary and everybody will laugh at you. Read carefully. And if from front of them a barzakh until the day when they will be resurrected, what the barzakh will do? It's a wall. Will not allow them to pass the location. So you just supported what I am saying. Thank you very much. And where is this barzakh? Hmm? Yeah. Now, you see, if we if we go, if we ask the Muslims, okay, who is the one explaining the Quran for us? Do you accept the Christian prince interpretation? They will say no. Okay, do you accept your scholars? They will say, maybe. <laughs> if we go as an example to Tafsir Ajalalain, Ajalalain make it clear, they will never mix. One does not mix with the other. Forbidding, ban, shield, prevert them two from being mixed. Do you see? This is, this is Ajalalain. I mean, a guy, his name is Abbas from Pakistan. He do not know even how to clean his boogers from his nose when it's come to Arabic. And he want to teach us who is wrong, who is right. You say, don't, don't correct me. Are you correcting them? Are you saying that you speak better Arabic than Ajalalain? Are you saying you speak better Arabic than Ibn Kathir? Pakistani boy? This is how shameful they are in order to cover the mistake in the Quran. Because look, they are forbidden. The Arabic is so clear. Barzakhan wa hijran mahjura. That's it. They are sealed. They cannot meet. They cannot touch each other. You know what? Maybe a Jalalain is a donkey. Huh? Let us change this donkey. What do you want? Which one? I can choose any interpretation you want. Which one you want? And don't tell me that all the scholars of Islam, they are donkeys. They do not know what the Quran is saying. It is he who has given independence uh, to seize the undeparable and sweet water, okay, barrier between them, the sweet water and salty water, and forbidden ban between them, preventing one of one of a transgressing against other. Do you see it? So the taste will not change. So your stupid prophet, he was thinking, okay, how the salty water stays salty water and the fresh water stays salty water? Hello, obviously Allah, don't let them allow them to mix. Do you see it? Allah don't allow them to mix. And the verse in the Quran is so clear, even without interpretation. Forget about the interpretation. 
it says it clearly Allah will forbid them ever from being mixed which means they never ever ever mix not even a billion year from now it's a complete barrier forbidden and you know what I am willing to change to any interpretation the Muslims accept from their scholars see this website this website have tons of interpretation let me switch to Arabic which one you want choose one and you will see how we will laugh at you which one you want there is endless Sunnah Shia Sufi Salafi Isnaya Ashariya Zidiya Abadiya what do you want all of them they are saying the same thing what do you want Look, look how many, look, look how many, look, 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 look. And by the way, the Quran is so clear to the point we need thousands of books to explain verses. Which one you want? If there's any one of them agree with you, actually, I agree with you already that it's a barrier. <laughs> All of them, they are saying the same garbage. Right? <clears throat> Uh, you should put his voice who's there he said he will be okay if his wife yeah well you know I, I feel sorry for him I, I asked Abbas if you remember that's why I could not take and hang up on him I feel sorry for this idiot you know I asked him is it okay if you're if I you know go and suckle you or your neighbor he suckle your wife he said if the prophet says so, so yeah I mean this is what kind of people we are talking about this guy he don't mind that his wife she give her books to the neighbor as long as the prophet says so. Huh. Okay. Yeah. They worship the they worship a filthy man. This is the whole story. So anyway, you see, don't argue with me because you cannot. I'm showing you what your prophet said. And I'm showing you what Ibn Kathir says. What about we go and see what Muhammad he says? Shall we? In the dead soul, what cannot pass or talking about between living and dead. No, this is about people who they are already, they are going to be, not about soul. There's nothing that's called soul. When when the resurrection happened, all mankind, according to Islam, will Allah will, will, will make rain like sperm over the ground. And then all a human being will come back to be living. So they have a flesh and they have a body. And then Allah will put them in that location. This is not soul. All right. There's nothing that's called soul. Uh, anyway, uh, if we go, you made me forget what I was going to talk about by your comment. Uh, yeah, let us go to the hadith. Let us see if the hadith mentioned something about this. Can we? Let us do that. Talking about invisible barrier, invisible force, prevent. Which, okay, uh, uh, Muslim proverb, I challenge you to show me where it says invisible barrier. Where you get this idea, it's invisible barrier. When the word barzakh in the, in, the, in the Arabic dictionary mean a piece of land between two body of water. It's a challenge between me and you. Show me where it says invisible. Can you show me? You see, I, I really for, I feel sorry for those people. Because not only, you see, the funny that they accuse the Christians of corrupting their Bible, but the fact, he, he just corrupted his Quran. Where it says, where we can find the invisible world. Is that something you are adding to the Quran? Abbas, are you adding the word invisible? Secondly, th did the Quran say they will never meet? So how there is a berzakh and they are meeting and they are mixing actually. The, the science says they are mixing. But it's taking time. So they are touching each other. There's no berzakh. You are literally stupid. Now here we go. I will show the verse for you, the one you choose for me. Can you show me where is the word berzakh is invisible? Can you show me the invisible word in the in the Quran you gave me? Why you are lying? Why you are fabricating Quran now? 
Where do you get the word invisible force? Are you there, Abbas? Or you are making your own Quran now? Where is the invisible force? Anyone see it? And just to show you that you are literally stupid, according to Quran, Jahannam is a physical place. And Jahannam have walls. Let us go and do a little search so we can laugh together at what Abbas said. And Jahannam even talk. Oh, hold on. I get, I get one of the science of the Prophet before we go there. Guys, look at the science of the Prophet. The Prophet explaining where the fever is coming from. How you get fever? Uh, fever, where fever is coming. Dr. Muhammad said that the Prophet said that fever is from the vehemence of the heat of Jahannam. So put, put it out with water. <laughs> Science, Dr. Muhammad. Okay. Uh, let me... Let me find you some hadith so we can laugh. Don't call Abbas because now I'm not in Skype. Just wait. Let us laugh together. <laughs> All right. Is Jahannam is a physical place? Yes. Does it have walls? Yes. And those are the barrier. Ah, I cannot find this hadith here. Let me try again. <clears throat> Jahannam have seven doors. Here we go. Do you see it? So Jahannam, when you say this is not a physical, etc., it has seven doors. That means it have walls. Otherwise, why, why we need doors, right? Correct? When you say that Jahannam have seven doors, that means Jahannam have seven doors inside walls. You don't put doors with no walls. That would be funny. So this is what Abbas is saying to us. He speak without knowledge and he exposes his prophet each time he talk. Now we go back. Uh, I changed to show. I challenge you to, uh, to uh, okay, sure. Guys, uh, Abbas, Abbas, he challenged me to show that when you die, you cross Okay, hold on. You actually cross a physical bridge. Okay. So Abbas, as long as you are challenging me, my friend, if I show you that, are you willing to call me and you say, and you announce that you are a donkey? Because each time you challenge me, I get you busted. What do you say? <clears throat> what do you say, Abbas? Do you accept the challenge? If I show you the reference, what you will say? Let me see if he's saying any comment. Did he say anything? Abbas, 
I'm waiting for your answer, my friend. Are you willing to call me and agree that you are a donkey and each time you come here, you've been described actually in the, in the way you deserve? What do you say? In front of everybody, because you made a challenge. Let me, let me, hold on. You know what? I did not take a snapshot of it. I want to take a snapshot before we lose it. Hold on. I like it when a Muhammad and he challenge. Ah, snapshot before we lose it. So we can put you in the museum as the rest of the Abdul. Here we go. Smile. Did you smile, Abbas? So Abbas, what do you say? Uh, okay, guys, Abbas, he say he agree. All right. No problem. Let us see. <clears throat> Abbas, I'm going to open my Skype and I want you to call me. All right, let me turn my sky. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I will be on Skype in a second, Abbas, and you can call me. Okay, Abbas. Call me, please. Abbas. Call me Abbas. I'm sure your family will be proud about you after you call me. As usual. Where are you Abbas? You know what? I will. I will look for you. Here we go. Abbas is calling. Okay. Thank you, Abbas. Hello. Hello. Yes, Abbas. Yes. So you said, Abbas, yes. you said that you challenged me to show you that this is a physical place. We will. I didn't say that. I said, show me the hadith, authentic hadith, which says when we die, yeah. we cross the physical bridge to go to the other life. Ah. Okay, and if I show you, okay, okay, I, I will go, I will go with what you said, okay. And if I show you that, you will yeah, agree, you will agree to say yeah, that you, my question. okay, and you agree to say that you are certified ignorant donkey when you challenge without being sure that this is not really what a Muslim, be, I mean, how old are you, Abbas? I'm 51. Okay, so 51 years you spend in your life, let us not to count the first 20 years, you were a kid at that time, or let us say you became mature like Aisha at the age of six. 51 years old man you do not know what happened to a muslim after he died um yeah we passed the bridge of death okay yes. is that a, is that a bridge okay is that a bridge not, okay guys not, he, hold, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on you, you just said you just we passed the bridge did you call it a bridge not physical not physical Being from one life to the other life this, the death is bridge between life and the hereafter and okay. it's not physical that's exactly what i'm saying so it's not but physical okay ignorant. okay how you confirm to me that you are not it's not physical did you like do your own search well, study or what it is okay it is you who claim it's a bad physical okay my challenge is to show me it's physical no problem but i'm saying to you how come you are so sure to challenge me because when you challenge it's mean you know the answer and you just say it it's not physical so how you found out that it's not physical uh, let's not play games here. No, let's no, no, no. We are playing games. No, I am going to show my reference. Abdul, let's listen. Abdul, 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 Abdul. No, 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 no. I want to know. No, I want to know. When you say it's invisible, not physical, are you making your own up story or you no, are learning this I'm from not. your prophet? I, I am not. I'm not. 
So, I, of course, I have read it. Of okay. course, I have heard it. Okay. Many times. But if you're asking me on the spot right now okay. to show you the proof, obviously, I'm not going to show you the proof right now. Okay. Do you promise I'm, me? I'm okay. Do you promise me? You okay. Say, do you promise me? Hold me. on. Do you promise me in the coming 10 years you will, show, you will find the reference about it? Absolutely. Okay. I will Maybe give you. Ten years. I can. I. I can even call you tomorrow. I'm sure I can okay. find by tomorrow. What All right. Talking? We will see. We will see tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Let's but, see. But my challenge is, mm. you show me right now the mm. way it says when we die, we cross cross the physical bridge into the next life. <clears throat> Simple challenge. And I'm ready. I'm calling you right now. It's in the front of you. It's in front of you. It's in it's in front of it's in the front of you. This is Sahih Muslim, and you are a certified donkey. Okay, okay. Hmm. Let's read it. All right. <clears throat> I'm refreshing the page. Hmm. No, I, I see nothing there on the screen. You don't see it? Oh, okay, let me wait for you, sir. Hold on. One second, one second, one second, one second. Hmm. No, it's nothing on the screen. No, do you see it? Refresh. It's going to come. It might take time. Hello? <laughs> it, it might take time. It's okay. Refresh your page. Um, you asked me to call you on this time. Can I call you back like in 10 minutes? Because no, 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 Online, that's fine, but no. I do have a four o'clock appointment in the garage. Ah, so why you are calling me? Why you are challenging me? Why you are saying to me I'm calling you now? You have a you, 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 no problem, it's going to take don't waste time, 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 don't waste time. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Even your prophet he said he have a chains around the sirat, have a chain. You know what chain? Chain around the side of the sirat. Do you see it? There's hooks. Read it, you idiot. One second, one second. Ah. And on the side of the bath, if you don't have time to read the whole hadith, no problem. And on the side of the bath, hooks would be suspended ready to catch anyone who is... One second, CP, one second. <laughs> There's a genie in the bulb. Are you talking? I think he's talking to somebody there, maybe. Far away, I don't know. Abbas, do you see it? It says in the side of the Sirat, there is hooks. <laughs> and your prophet will stand on it. What an idiot. I challenge you. I challenge you, Christian Prince. Hang up. Still, you have to say and you have to admit that you are certified donkey as you promised. You promised that everybody is my witness, it's recorded. So, you say it or not, from now on, you have to admit. Because, you know, this is the stupid about them. Even your prophet, he says that. One of you, he will not even be able to walk. Some of you will be able only to creep on the top of it. Do you see it? It's amazing how the stupidity work. They challenge you. They don't know what they are. You're, first of all, you need to learn something. You are talking to Christian Prince. And Christian Prince will not say something unless he can prove it.
and this is the reference in the front of you and the funny he said right away to to protect because he got like uh oh he got something so you have to give me authentic hadith okay this is authentic so what we will do Stupidity is amazing. Anyway, uh, let me post uh, the, the link for the hadith for those who like to save it. So Abbas, he can read it too and take his time. I hope his wife, she will not divorce him because he gets spanked badly by me. Uh, but maybe she is the kind who gets excited to see her husband spanked. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, what we were talking about? <laughs> I know they are watching my videos. I know all of them, they watch my videos and they die laughing at themselves. Anyway, my friend. So let us go back to the Indonesian website. So you see, we got them busted. They are lying. They have no dignity and they are a fraud. They are a fraud. So the first one about Two water don't mix. We promise. We, we showed you that not only this is a not what it says, what they claim. It is a scientific mistake. So how Allah can be God, but yet He claim or He think that the salty water and the fresh water never mix. And the funny here we go. This is their own translation. You see, this is a translation made by them in the website. I will copy it as it is and I will post it in Google Translation. Let us go to Google. Prophet Google, peace upon him. I will post exactly their translation, not my words. Huh? It says, He let the two oceans flow. The two then meet between the two. There is a, 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 a limit or not to exceed. <laughs> Look at the funny translation. <laughs> the word barrier is gone. The word they will never transgress is gone. They will never pass is gone. And now there is a limit and they are not to exceed. So why here in the, in the, in the translation here it says different story? What happened? Hey, Abdul, what happened? Why, did, why translation is different? So they fabricate a translation to make it look like, maybe it's possible to make it look like, oh, there is speaking about water or not. Uh, you know, they are mixing slowly, but the fact it says it clearly, there's a barrier. They will never mix. They will never even meet. And that barrier is a barzakh, and the barzakh is a piece of land. Actually, let me do this. <clears throat> Give me a second. Uh, this is what Abbas was arguing with me about. Just to show you how the, this idiot, how stupid he is. This is how the Muslim they draw the barzakh. <laughs> Actually, this is not the barzakh, sorry. This is the sarat. This is the sarat. The barzakh is in the ground, in the in the in the earth. Uh, uh, and there is supposedly in, in the in the hell too, which is a separation between here and there. So the heaven and the hell will not mix. Why? Because between them there is a barzakh. Here, this is a sarat. So the Muslim believe that when time will come, and I see the sarat here is very funny because Muhammad described it a different way. Here they make it like look like a stairs and there's a garden. When Muhammad he says in the side of it there is hooks will kidnap you, will snatch you, some they move so fast, some they move so slow, some they will be burned, some their feet will go in fire, some their, they, they will go to their belly, some they will go to their stomach, some they will go to their mouth, some they will, the, the, the hooks will snatch them and they grab them and throw them in hellfire. I mean, look at, even, even their pictures they make is a fabrication, fiction.
This is why we say you cannot trust any Muslim translation. Even if you are a Muslim, take my advice. You cannot. For they, they don't do trustworthy work. You see the difference between a, true, a trustworthy Christian, a trustworthy Muslim, that a Christian, he would do his best not to lie, because if he lies, he's, you know, he's, he's, a, he's not being a Christian. A Muslim being a liar, as long as he is lying to bring people to Islam, this is a good lie for them. They believe in good lie. If you remember the story in the TV, where a guy, the sheikh, he was talking about how a good brother of us, he made a Jewish guy convert to Islam. How, what the story happened? The, Jew, the Muslim guy tell, kept telling him, why you don't convert to Islam? Why you don't convert to Islam? And the Jewish guy, he said to him, you know, I don't have a problem to convert, but I like to drink and smoke. And then the Muslim, who said to him, who told you you cannot drink and smoke? Who told you? You can. And then the Jewish, he said the Shahada. After he said the Shahada, brother, our brother told him, now you cannot smoke and you cannot drink. Look, he is telling them how, how smart their brother is. He lied to this guy, so he will say Shahada and now he cannot leave. And he said to him, and now if you leave Islam, we will kill you. <laughs> it's demonic, satanic cult. Literally, satanic, stupid cult. Lying is okay. As long as those lies is to serve Islam. Because for them we are enemies. And it's okay. Muhammad himself, he said, you can lie in three cases. To your enemies, and to your family, and to even to your friends to fix between them. Who's left? Who's left? Nobody. Now, we continue with the scientific miracles. All right. Now, if you are an Indonesian, you are going to copy my video, you can cut it pieces one by one and take whatever you think is not necessarily just to give the answer to make it short and re-edit re the video. Kareiz uh, Idar, uh, I don't know what does that mean. Let us see. Let us see what does that mean. Hold on. We will take it to Google Translation and see what does that mean. Okay. This is line according to astronomer. The sun moves in the speed 720 uh, kilometer in direction of the star Vogel orbit. A star means that the sun moves 1728 million apart from the sun. Okay, this feminine or solar system, uh, um, uh, in other surah in the Quran, Al Anbiya, verse number 33. Okay, you see, they are the one who chose the verse, not me. So don't blame me. Don't blame me for what will happen next, Muslims. Let us love together. What the was verse? The verse. هو الذي خلق الليل والنهار والشمس والقمر كل في فلك فلك يسبحون. Okay, let's go to the Quran. Let us see first the English one. And here now you have to leave Islam again because this is a clear mistake in the Quran. Chapter 21, verse number 33. Read carefully with me and try not to laugh. Now remember, we are going to use Muslim translation. It is he who created the night. 
It is highlighted. <clears throat> He created the night, the day, the sun, and the moon. All along and each go in its round course. This is the Muslim translation. The fact it doesn't say really what they are saying, round course. It says, yes, bahoon, they swim. They swim. This is the word in Arabic. So with the Quran claiming that the night is a body, the day is a body, the sun is a body, the moon is a body, and all of them, they swim in a boat. Falak. Falak is a boat. So with the Quran teaching, that the day is a physical object, the night is a physical object, the sun is a physical object, the moon is a physical object, and all of them, they are going and they are swimming. Now, how we can explain this? Let us see the scholars. To the Muslim, they will not say, well, he is making things up. But let us first... Uh, go and find it in the Indonesian translation before we go there. Give me a second. 2133. <clears throat> uh, hold on. No, this is, the, this is the wrong verse. Hold on. 33. Let us see how accurate the translation is before we go and see the interpretation. All right. And it is he who created the night and the day and the sun and the moon each of them circulate in their circle lines. Okay, that's wonderful. Indonesian, don't you see the mistake? Each one of them, you see here they are saying circular, but it doesn't say really that. It says yes, bahun, which means they swim. But we will let it go. But it says it clearly, each of them, each of what? Of the one we count before. Who? The night the day, the sun, and the moon. So the day is a flying object. The night is a flying object, or let us say swimming object. The moon and the sun is the same. And each one of them is going one after one. Now, is that true? Absolutely false. Because Muhammad is trying to explain to us here how the day and the night happen. How the day and the night happening. So the night is going, and then the first is the day, and then the night come after the, the day. And when the night come, the day leave. When the sun come, the moon leave. How Allah he think in such a way? It says both only, and that's a lie. Okay, let us expose this lie. It says both, uh, uh, one of you saying that it says both only. Uh, no, that's a lie. Let us go to Ibn Kathir and see if this is true or not. Shall we? Ibn Kathir will show every Muslim that, you know, chapter 21, verse number 33, we go to Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> And by the way, even remember, Ibn Kathir, he is, he, his book is to defend Islam because the Christians at that time in Syria, where he lived, they were laughing at the Quran. 
So even interpretation of Ibn Kathir is meant to defend the Quran. All right. Here we go. And it's he who created the night, the day, the moon, okay? Meaning one of its darkness and the stainless and the other one is light, a human instruction and sometime, okay, and switch. Okay, and the sun, let us read together. And the sun and the moon and the sun, it is on light and the and on bath, orbit, at all, okay, and the moon, which is shine with different light and travel in different bath. Kullun fi fulkin yusbahun, let us see. Ibn Abbas, he says, they revolve like a uh, spinning wheel in a circle like in the ayah. All right. However, in order to understand this, who, who is the better one to ex explain the verse for us? Muhammad, right? I mean, who can understand the Quran better than Muhammad? Let us see. Muhammad will get them busted. I was going to show you actually a different verse interpretation, but I just remember why I want to do that. Let us get Muhammad get them busted. Muhammad, he would do best, given an interpretation for the Quran. Here we go. Read carefully, and this is your prophet explaining what you Muslims call the orbit, and try not to die laughing. And now you tell me if your prophet is an idiot. Because I think now you will say to me, Christian Prince, you're a liar. It doesn't say so. It doesn't mean that. Read carefully. Once I was with the Prophet in the mosque at the time of the sunset, the Prophet said, Oh, Abu, Dhu, Abu Dhar, do you know where the sunset? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, it goes and prostrate itself underneath Allah's throne. And that's a law statement and the sun runs on its fixed course for a term and degree. Do you see it? So what the course of the sun? How the sun run every day? Every day the sun goes and prostrate and the, itself under the throne of Allah. And where the throne of Allah in the top of the water? And where is the water? Is the ocean. However, the from verse in the Quran saying it's a spring of water. Do you see it? Now, are they going to say that Muhammad is a liar? Say it. I agree. Because Muhammad, he explained to you that the sun goes every day when the fact, all of us, we knew that the sun going nowhere. The sunset happened because the earth is going around itself. Not because the sun going around the earth. So it's your prophet who believe that the sun goes from point A to point B every day and ask Allah for permission to come back again. And this alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is a fraud. Now, Muslims, are you going to believe this website? Or you will believe your prophet's statement? Now, I did not yet finish, by the way, because I want to show you that the Quran saying that all of them, they run in a course. All of them. Hold on. Let me give me a second. I don't like to mention something without showing you more reference. What a funny religion. But do you see how the devil work? What is wrong, they make it right and make it science. What is funny and stupid, suddenly it became science. Amazing. All right. Okay, let's see. Because there is a there is a hadith, I remember it. I'm trying to find it, you know. I don't like to mention something. Even though we showed you what Muhammad said, it's enough to prove it. But let us add one more information. It doesn't hurt.
Okay, hold on, let us see here. <clears throat> all right all right here we go bingo you see it took us a little bit of time to find it no problem but I, as i said i prefer to show you what i'm talking about this is tafsir ibn kathir I was trying to find it in, in English, in Hadith, but I could not. But uh, now Ibn Kathir in English will do the job. This is Ibn Kathir, chapter 36, verse number 37. Here, all right? All the way to verse number 40. The end of the tafsir, it says the following. Because they say to you, only two, they are flying and they are floating. And I told you, by the way, it's not flying, it's not really, it's a swimming. Read carefully, here we go. They all float. Do you see what the word float? What the float mean? Float if you are swimming. Each in an orbit means the night, the day, the sun, and the moon. All of them are floating. People, do you see it? Do you see it? All of them, they are floating. In the translation, they say only two, the moon and the sun. False. This is your scholar who speak Arabic very well, Ibn Kathir. Each one of them is a swimming in its boat. Do you see it? So everything Muhammad he says is absolutely stupid. But how this has became science? How Muhammad he say that the sun set in the murky water how much okay is it muhammad who says that is it muhammad who said the sun set in murky water here we go it's in the front of you let us put it again we made a video about it So how the how do those people they make science? I mean, what's wrong with them? They don't read, they don't know, they don't see, or they are possessed by the devil. You're a prophet explaining where the sun set. The sun set in a spring of warm water. It's not even the ocean. It says a spring of warm water. If they want to say to us, this is the eve, it is not the eve. It is not the eve. So look, whatever they say, it turned to be false. It doesn't matter what they are saying. So how we can accept Islam to be from God? One error of those is enough to prove to us that the Quran, remember the Quran is not like other books. You see, like uh, for us as a Christians, we say the Bible is the book of God, yes. But we in the book of God, there is a stories about men, human, people say this, people say that, you know. So it's a book teaching us about God but not every word there is God writing by hand do you understand like when when someone is evil and his, his story is mentioned in the gospel or in the, uh, in the in the Old Testament that is his words the, the evil person the evil person says this so we can say when God he say God is saying when man he say man is saying when a prophet he say a prophet is saying here is God is talking in the Quran that the sun set in murky water and Muhammad he claim that even his hadith is coming from Allah وَمَا هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَى in the Quran even when shaitan he talk is Allah talking remember in the Bible no in the Bible when shaitan is talking this is shaitan is talking in the Quran there's only one reporter that is Allah. Only one. It's not a prophet telling us about what Satan said. No. It's about here in the Quran. It's Allah saying to us how the sun set, how the sun goes, where the sun goes, where he found it, everything. Right? Translate to Indonesian. 
Yeah, well, anyway, if you are making a video from your side, as an example, we can translate this. You can use Google Translation if you want. Let us go here. This is what your, the, uh, the Prophet of Islam said. I will post it in Google Translation. We have to switch languages now. The Prophet uh, Abu Dhar reporting that he was behind the Prophet in his donkey during the sunset and he said, do you know, Muhammad, he said, do you know where the sun goes? He said, uh, Allah and his apostles know better. Man jawab, Allah, then Rasulullah, Rasulullah, Tahu Yang, Tarbik, the Brakat, Brakat. He says, in the Tor, the Lam Mata Air Hangat, Hamia. Don't ask me to translate, please. <laughs> so the sun set in murky water. And this is Ibn Kathir getting them busted about where they float. The, the stupid God of Islam, he think that the day and the night, let us take it as it is and translate. Here we go. Copy from Ibn Kathir as it is. Copy, paste. Go to Google Translation. In the front of your eyes. Nothing from my pocket. And we switch languages. No, no, actually we do it this way. Here we go. This is the English and this is the Indonesian. All of them, the day and the night, all of them, they swim in Uh, I think I, I copied the, hold on, I copied the wrong one. Did I copy the wrong one? No, I did not. So why it's not coming all of it? I don't see the moon. Where is the moon there? Maybe Google don't take all the text. Let me do it again. Okay. They all afloat, each in orbit, mean the night, the day, the sun, the moon, floating, revolving in orbit. Okay, uh, view, uh, okay, Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him. So we need to read from here, Ibn Abbas, here we go. Ibn Abbas, he said, it should say <clears throat> here, let us zoom in. That the day and the night and the sun and the moon, they all go and they float all together in a spinning wheel. All right. I mean, look what we did. We just we just pick up a random article and we found that the first two things they mention it's a fraud, and I go into you the rest are fraud too. All of them they are fraud. All right. Yeah, but according to Muhammad, the sun is moving around the earth. Well, we showed you the reference, and even even the Muhammad he 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 made it clear that this is interpretation for the verse saying chapter 36 verse number 38 you see it it's not me according to muhammad when the sun set time and by the way there's a guy his name is fifi he agreed that this is a correct hadith he was correcting a guy his name apostate prophet who's an ex-muslim he said this is not a correct hadith but this hadith is correct let us read together. This hadith is correct for him. This is the correct one. <laughs> this is the correct one. The correct one that the sun goes every day from the east to the west and ask Allah permission and go under the throne of Allah. And Allah, he said to the sun, okay, go. And then one day, Allah will not allow the sun to go back. Do you see it? Let us take the one after. I don't know. Should we finish with, with this or continue? Make it another. Uh, so we'll make it easier for you to translate. Let us see the second one. What is the second one? Ledakan rakas atau big big bang, the big bang in the Quran, brother. Yes, brother, the big bang in the Quran. May Allah big bang you. You Muslim believe in the big bang now? Indonesian Muslims, you believe in the big bang? Okay, let us give you the Big Bang in a place you deserve. All right. 
So, you know, I know what they are saying there, even I don't speak the language. They quote for you a verse from the Quran. They say, this verse is speaking about the Big Bang. Okay, the verse says, أَوَلَمْ يَرَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِنَّ السَّمَوَاتَ وَالْأَرْضَ كَانَتَا رِتْقًا فَفَتَقْنَاهُمَا وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْ Let us go to the verse and die laughing because there's many mistakes in this verse. Let us see how many Muslims will leave Islam after we read it. Oh boy. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the verse, chapter 21, verse number 30. Now, you know what? I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything to show you the mistakes, but I want people to think with me. If you are in Indonesia and take a snapshot or you open the uh, computer from your side, open the verse, chapter 21, verse number 30, and the translation in front of you, just to be sure what the translation is saying, I will take it, copy, Take it to Google Translation. Google Translation here. All right, let us see. Switch languages. And of those who disbelieve, didn't they know that the heaven and the earth are coherent? Then we separate them from water. We made every living thing. All right. How many mistakes we can find in this Quran? In this verse, let us let us see how many of you will help me. What is number one mistake? <clears throat> hey, no, I do not need water. I need a wife, <laughs> so she can bring me water. <laughs> Unbelievable! Too bad I'm allowed only to have four wife in Arabia. Only four. I'm very I mean, Why four? I mean, only four. Only four. You idiot. One woman would drive you crazy. Four, four, four. Even Muhammad in the Quran, he speak about having four, all those 13, 14, 15 wives. They drive him crazy to the point he need the support of Allah and the angels and Jibreel and the believers and all of them against two women. Two women, they fall. They, you, you, want, you don't believe me? Let me show you. Let me show you. I do not change the topic, but we will go back. Just to show you what, what, what two women did to Muhammad. Muhammad, he went not. He is already crazy. He could not control them. So look what he said. And, it, and this is additional proof that Muhammad, he is a fraud. And the funny, the Muslim, they said, you prophet Muhammad was very powerful. We did see how powerful inside the kitchen. Chapter 66, verse number 4. Muhammad, he have a fight with his two wives who they found him having sex with their servants. And they have parties. And Allah, he went to the office to help Muhammad. Muhammad is in trouble with his wives. Oh boy, let me help him. If you two, in repentance to him, to who? Aisha and Hafsa. Your heart are indeed so inclined. But if you back each other, ah, they are backing each other against the Prophet, other against him. Truly, Allah is his protector. Like what? Muhammad, he received verses from Allah saying to him, when your wife fight with you, I am standing beside you. Two women, they are five foot tall. And now Muhammad, he receive the madad. Madad, ya Sheikh madad. So if you back up each other, Hafsa and Aisha, Allah, Allah is his protector. Protector? Like what will you go? What was happening there? You think Muhammad's life was not risk? Maybe they want to rape him? Okay, now Allah, he, he phoned Muhammad. Tiridim, tiridim, tiridim. Alaykum as -salam. Muhammad, I am Allah. I will protect you. 
Okay, Allah, but they are evil. You don't know. They are so strong. They have long nails. Those are women, female. You don't know how bad they are. Okay. Hold on. Jibreel, when I talk to you. And Jibreel. Now Jibreel will call. Tell it in, tell it in. Who is this? I'm Jibreel. Yes, Jibreel, did you see what happened to me with the two? <laughs> I am Jibreel, I promise you. I will stand with you against them. You don't know, you have no idea. They are so scary. They are women, women, you are not listening. They are women. Do you know how dangerous the women are? Oh, I think I got the point. Hold on. We will ask for more support. We will call you again, okay? Okay, thank you. And every righteous one among those who believe. Now, all the Muslims are calling Prophet. Who is this? My name is Dr. Technique. I am going to tell you, Prophet. All of us, we are Muslim Mujahideen. We are going to stand with you. And we are going to go and die for you, sake. And if those two wives, they are coming to you, and even they have their name, don't worry. We are going to protect you. I will let your wife put their name in my neck, and they will never let them test you. Thank you. That, what you what's your name? Zakanaik. Uh, but why you are spitting at me? And, uh, because that's how we speak. Uh, okay, but let somebody else to talk to me next time, okay? Don't call me again. Okay, Pastor. Thank you very much. And I get the point, Pastor. Still, I'm not sure if this is will be enough. Tereden, 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 tereden. Hello. Who is this? I'm Allah. Allah, Allah. I mean, why well, you are crying? I get you all the support you need. I don't think this is enough because I got only now Allah and Jibreel and the righteous uh, among the Muslims. This is a lot. What's wrong with you? Uh, I don't think this is enough. You don't understand. They are women. Women. You never know what women? You never have a woman yourself. You have no idea. <laughs> Trust me, you have no idea. <laughs> okay, hold on. Jabri, when I talk to you. Tereden, tereden. Tereden, tereden. Who is this? I'm Jabril. Jabri, Jabri. I don't know what you do. I don't know. Why you are shaking? What's wrong with you? Be a man. Be strong. You are a prophet of Allah and we stand with you. <laughs> you have no idea. You have no idea. Hold on. I just received a signal. Actually, a fax. Actually, uh, <clears throat> a message. Do you understand, Muhammad? I have no idea what you what what you are saying. I just receive that every furthermore, every angel in the world will be ready to fight beside you against those two women. Do you feel better now? <laughs> you have no idea. You have no idea. <laughs> but what I can do is that all. Uh, this is what all what you have. Allah, Jibreel, the fighters, the believers, ISIS, Al Qaeda, and all the angels. What more we can get you? Thank you. Thank you. This is a prophet of God. All of those to fight two women, they are five foot tall. When you read this verse, you will think Muhammad is going to go in war with the Roman. Or maybe with Mr. Trump. Let it go, let it go. I understand the situation. I mean, two women, hello. One woman will go, may make you great crazy. Anyway, what we were talking about? <laughs> yeah, we were talking about this. The Big Bang. The Big Bang in the Quran. Yes, brother. The Muslims discovered the Big Bang in the Quran. Let us see the Big Bang in the Quran. So we copy the verses and we post them in Google Translation. To make it short, the first mistake in the verses here that he said to them, Alam yara, don't they see? Let us close this one, close this one, close this one too. <laughs> Horrible. And uh, too many uh, browser open. Okay, read guys, read carefully with me. In the in the correct 
translation should say awalam yara alladhina kafaru don't they see don't they see so this is something is known from before but how that can be the big bang then you see if we go to the uh, the english translation just to show you how they lie again uh, i'm sorry i'm typing in english sorry hold on you see the problem is uh, 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 those who uh, uh, read the Quran, even the Christians, you know, they don't, uh, you have to go deep in the world. Don't just, uh, don't be shallow, just read and continue reading, you know. You have to think carefully about what it says there. So, if you read carefully with me, you will see the following. And this is the Muslim translation in English. Don't the unbelievers see that the heaven and the earth were joined together? Okay. In Arabic it says, Awalam yara, which means don't they, they didn't see from the past. But that's mean the Big Bang is known from before. And those who the Muhammad is talking to them, they knew the Big Bang. It is about the Big Bang. For obviously what Muhammad is talking about is something totally different. What Muhammad is talking about, that those pagan people, including Muhammad, he's pagan like them, they believe that the heaven or the sky is lifted up by columns. And then Allah, he placed a roof in the top of the column. How we can prove what we are saying? Uh, we go to the different verse in the Quran. <clears throat> Chapter 13 verse number 2 it says Allahu alladhi rafa'a as-samawata bi ghayri umdin tarunaha it's Allah who lift up the sky but without a column that you can see Chapter 31 verse number 10 it says the same خلق السماوات بغير عمد ترونها وألقى في الأرض رواسي. Okay, so let us see how how that will work. This is the Muslim translation in their language. I don't know what it says. I will take it to. I hope those who speak English only they will not mind that we are using Google Translation to help our brothers and sisters in Indonesia. They are Muslims, yes, but we love them. This is why we are sacrificing from our time. I know this is not too much fun to go translate, etc., but it's okay. He created the sky, this is what supposedly in Indonesian says, without pillars that you saw. What does that mean? That means there's pillars, but we cannot see. And then he made another stupid mistake. He said, and place mountains in the top of the earth. So the Quran claimed that Allah, he made mountains separately not inside the earth rather than he put it in the top of the earth as a stones which again another mistake in the Quran but let us go first to the pillars that you can see how we can ex you know explain this pillars thing how there's pillars around the earth and there's columns and there's walls if you remember once we explain to you let's go to English here that's here There's a chapter, it's called the chapter of Qaf. Qa. Anyone remember? Qa. Okay. What is the chapter of Qaf? This is the chapter. Number 50, verse number 1. Let us see what this chapter is saying. Qaf. And how the Muslims understand it. You see, I'm not showing you how I understand it. I'm showing you how they Uh, challenge not going to, uh, to go away is for uh, eternity actual exalted change to all uh, there show me the Quran hadith death across I just showed you you idiot even even the bridge have a have a hooks you're stupid you see the guy you have no dignity guys did I show him the hadith did I show him the hate and I post it for you 
I even I posted the hadith. It says that there is hooks in the sides of the of the bridge. Shame on you. Does it say you will stand? This does it say that the prophet will stand on it? How you stand in something does not exist. Does it say there's hooks in the side of it? I, I know you are just a kid, but you are you are you are ashamed. You don't wanna you don't wanna agree, admit that this is what it says. Let me pause the hate again so everybody will laugh at you. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Nah, this one is not found here. Okay, it has found you something. Can be located. He don't want to admit that he made a stupid mistake. He made a promise. But it's okay. You are a Muslim. Where is the hadith we showed him? Okay, let's see this one. All right. Yeah, this is the one we gave you. All right. How people they are going to pass? Are going to pass flying or they are going to be walking? There we go. Here he starts speak, speaking about a sirat. Uh, okay, I say it, and who is Daria, my father, uh, okay, bath with me, who is going to, and would stand on the right and the left of the bath. Do you see it, Abdul? Do you see it? You will stand in the left and in the right of the bath, the sirat. So, it's not only have edges, you Muslims will stand in the edges on the side, in the bath and the right, in the left and the right. And then, and the first of you would pass with the swiftness of light. So some of you, the best of you, will go fast. The reader said, uh, I said, O oh, thou art uh, uh, far dearer to me than my father and my mother, which I think were run pass in light. He said, haven't you seen light in how pass and then etc. So this is how fast they will go. And then he continues saying, and then he says, and the apostle would be standing on the bath, saying, standing on it, saying, save my, oh my Lord, save. The people would go on passing till the deeds of the servant would be faring in strength, till the man would come and who would find, find it hard to go along in that path. But some, they would be crawling. Some, they would be what? They would be crawling, grieving in their belly. So if this is not physical, it would be crawling and what? And then he says, continue saying, read carefully. But crawling, the narrator said, and in the side of the bath hooks, in the side of the bath, there's hooks, would be sub suspending, ready to catch anyone whom those would be required to catch. So this bath, this bridge, have hooks, and this guy is saying to us, those are not physical. <laughs> and his prophet will be standing on it, and some Muslim will be creeping on it, 
And this guy is saying this is not physical. Obviously, hooks is not physical for Abbas. You see, Abbas, you have no dignity. You are you have no honesty. You know, people are laughing at you. Alright? Is hooks something physical? Is the side of the bath is something physical? Is walking, is standing in the bath, obviously it's something physical? Is a creeping in the bath is something physical? Yeah. You can say as you wish. People, people are the judge. People, they can see that you are lying. Actually, in Sahih al-Bukhari, he said, let us see if we can find this hadith. Because Muhammad here is speaking that the one, the bad, the bad ones, is going to take them long to pass and the good ones will take them slow to pass. All right. Uh, let us see. Here we go. Even here, he, des he described it. <laughs> Read carefully, Abdul. The potato who challenged me. You are a stupid idiot. I feel sorry for you. The same hadith we read about the shape of Allah because Allah he changed his shape he became like Santa Claus and a leg and and uh, uh, you know popcorn the prophet he they say he said and then it will be said to them do you know the sign which you will recognize Allah they will say the shin so now Allah will show his shin and the Muslim will have a striptease party so then Allah will uncover his shin whereupon every believer prostrate before him and they will remain those who used to prostrate before uh, before him just of showing off and then look what it says uh, and will be ridged like a piece of wood and etc okay and then then the bridge will be laid across hell abbas are you there abbas the potato are you there do you see it Guys, does it say the bridge will be laid across hell? Abbas, this is Sahih Bukhari. People, does it say a bridge and this bridge will be laid across hell? Or I'm making things up. This potato, he challenged me and he agreed if I show him that this is a physical bridge, he will admit to say he is a certified donkey. Yeah, you can call me, but he will go. It's in front of you. I know what you will say. It doesn't say that, you know. Everybody's laughing. It says that in front of you. Give me a second. Let me. <laughs> it says a bridge. So what is a bridge? And you will be standing on it, and you will be creeping on it. Okay, Abbas. Okay, right now, Abbas, I am in Skype. Call me, Abbas. <clears throat> yeah, I will call you. All right. Hi, okay, hi. Does it say in the front of you that it is a bridge will be laid across the hill? Okay, okay, okay. Listen to me. You you didn't understand my challenge. You say you got a screenshot of my challenge. Hmm. Read my challenge again hmm. so everybody can see what my challenge was. Hmm. My challenge was not that when we enter paradise, are we going to cross a physical bridge or not? My challenge was when we die. Remember, we talking about the barrier. Hmm. The death is a barrier from this life to the hereafter. Hmm. My challenge was to show me any Sahih Hadith hmm. that say when we die, hmm. we cross the bridge to go to the other life. That was the original challenge. That the death is a barrier from this life to the other life, and that is an uh, invisible barrier, not a physical okay, barrier. Hold on, hold on. No, when, when you say when we die, do you, don't you mean at the end of the day that we have a, a, about Judgment Day? 
No, no end of the day. Don't play with words. Yeah, no, shut up. No, 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 no. We were talking about that you are going, we're talking about the word Barzakh. And you are the one who mentioned to me that a chapter. What that chapter is speaking about, about Jahannam. So Jahannam is after life, not about now, right away you go to Jahannam. Why you are lying? Isn't it the very same verse that you is gave me? Isn't it the same verse you gave me? Is about Allah will gather all, Al Hashr, all of them, He will gather them for Jahannam. What are you talking about? The verses what you gave me, you are the one who gave me a verse. You are the one, no, you are the one who gave you are the one who gave me the verse about Barzakh, which is and you said to me the Barzakh there is not a physical Barzakh. And this is what, what lead us into to speak about the Sirat. And the Sirat is a bridge. Abdul, listen, listen, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, 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 potato. Hold on, just to show everybody how stupid you are. Don't you Muslim believe oh, that when you die in the grave, you will stay in the oh, oh, sh, sh. When you die, you Muslim, don't you believe that you stay in the grave anyway? So what do you mean after life we will go in the bridge? What after life? I'm not I'm talking about the bridge where you go after life uh, in the day of resurrection. Allah will resurrect you. And I say that clearly, guys. Did I say Allah will rain water like a sperm and he will resurrect every human being and they will have their flesh and then Allah will gather them and then he will make them cross the bridge. And you are the one who made this comment right away saying, I challenge you to show me there is a physical bridge. There's a physical bridge in what? What did I say? Read the challenge what I challenge. You after, we challenge. after we die. After we die. After we die. My challenge was. There, there is Shut no up. Go. There is go. You are, just a, you are just a kid. Don't call me again. This is why I block you. You, are, you had no dignity. This is why last time you said to me you have no problem that your wife, she will suckle me. Shame on you. A man with dignity will not accept that. If the prophet says so, so what? No, no, don't call me, don't call me. I don't have time for kids. Don't call me. This is your challenge after we die, all of us we knew what we say, after, this is about after life. What do you mean after die? After die, Allah will ship you in the bridge? Are you, are you stupid? This resurrection will happen first. And this is what we are talking about. So now you are trying to find a solution for getting busted and you are a donkey. And now, by the way, regardless of what you say, I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? And where Muhammad he got this story from? If Allah told him, show us in the Quran. Otherwise, Muhammad fabricated his story. Isn't you Muslim? He says that Allah told Muhammad through the Quran. Okay, show me where we can find this. Bridge, lay off, and Allah will change his shape. And then this bridge have hooks, and the hooks will kidnap you. What is that? Just go, go, kid. You are just a kid. You are just a kid. I don't respect you, honestly. I respect only one thing about you, that you are a foolish, poor guy. Which means, because you are poor, I forgive you. I don't take you as a, ba a bad person. It's your foolishness, you know, speaking. You are desperately trying to defend your cult, but I forgive you in the same time because I understand that in you know you are a you are just a naive person, stupid. When you open your mouth, you don't speak. You do do poo poo. We go back to our topic. So in the verse in the Quran, the Quran speak about Allah creating. the sky and the earth in order. There's no Big Bang. And I will show you actually the Quran even says Allah created the earth before the sky. So how they believe in the Big Bang? But look, read with me. From the narration of the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, the interpretation of Allah saying Qaf, he says, Qaf is an azure mountain overlooking this world and the color of the sky takes from it. Allah swear by it, by what? by the mountain which is an azure mountain surrounding the earth and where the sky color coming from why the sky is blue because the sky is taking its color from this mountain so according to the islam or the cult of muhammad there is a mountain around the earth and that mountain is a blue mountain that's why we cannot see really because it's blue same color of the sky but the fact the sky itself is taking color from this mountain. Now, 
as long they are talking about the Big Bang here, let us laugh more. Because as long they agree with the Big Bang, that's mean the Earth was should be created after. Correct? This is what the Big Bang says. The Big Bang created hundred million billions of years after the, the universe created. Let us go to the Quran and show you how the Muslims they expose their God and they lie. Here we go. <clears throat> Big Bang, huh? Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Stupidity. This is a chapter forty one, first number. You can read the whole chapter, by the way. If you are Indonesian Muslim, listening to me, you see, we don't do what the Muslim do. They quote a verse and they play with it. I advise you to read the whole chapter and die laughing with me. You will see there's no connection. Everything in the top of the earth in four days. After he created the earth, Allah, he made the mountains in the top of it. And after he created the mountains, he made the grass, the trees. So then Allah, thumma, in Arabic, thumma, mean while after there's a muslim teacher he teach her oh i hope my uh, i hope my uh, live stream will not go wrong okay give me a second just to find you the video he's a muslim and he's trying to bring people into islam by doing the uh, teaching of allah the purpose of his video actually is to uh, to fool those western by using the arabic language let us see Um. See, this is the video. <laughs> this is the video. And learning Quran Arabic, and he played Quran for you in the start. So you can say this guy is a Christian prince, he's working for a Christian prince. It's just a period of time. Who is saying that? Your Muslim teacher who's trying to convert the Christians into Islam. So it cannot, not only it is after that, it have to be way after that. How this is work. So when Allah in the Quran, you see I'm, uh, my connection, it might go wrong, I hope not. So when Allah in the Quran, he says, Thumma, it's mean long after. Look like we are losing connection, I hope not. So what is the last thing was created? It was the stars. Going up and down. Now it says excellent connection. I'm not sure. Let us try to con continue. If not, then we will continue later. Am I heard now or is still not working? Hmm. Okay, guys, look like the connection in this time is not doing good. So we will continue maybe later. Tomorrow we will be live on air again for sure. Invite your friends. Tomorrow is what? Uh, today is a Friday. Yeah, it's okay. We will be, you know, I will, I will set up a, a timing for, for our going again. Just watch uh, when it's going to be the coming broadcast and we will continue. But as you see, the Quran make it clear that the stars was the last thing to be created. And by the way, this is in total disagreement with the chapter 79, proving to us that the one who made the Quran is an idiot. Because how come one chapter he says Allah created the stars first and then the mountain and the other chapter saying the opposite? It's obviously this is going to be from God. So we will be back, you know. Uh, maybe tomorrow morning same time as today uh, don't forget to subscribe invite your friends and we are going to get uh, his what well, this guy is now insane 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 somebody told me he posted a video so we will get him busted too so please subscribe tell your friends about our channel and don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends and we will not stop until we see all indonesian 
see the truth about the liar Muhammad, who he say things only fool can say. Breastfeeding for adult, flying carpet, the sunset in murky water, Allah created the stars at the end, different verse, Allah created the stars as a, as a first. This guy, he have no idea what he's talking about. And this is what happened when you are a fool, speaking like a fool. Simply because you are following a fool God. As simple as that. I want to say thank you for all people from Indonesia who they are translating my videos. I really appreciate your work because you are doing a great job for your nation. And be sure don't share your identity with your friends, those who they are translating and posting videos. Keep that to yourself. Don't trust anyone. Those Muhammadan, they will come to you, they will claim to be Christian, they will text you, they will say we are Christian, we are brothers and sisters. They do anything, anything to stop those who they are exposing Islam. Don't ever reveal your identity, even if you are talking to me, myself. If I ask you what's your name, don't tell me. If I ask you where you live, never tell me. If I ask you to give me your phone number, never give it to me, even me. Be careful. The devil is powerful. And the devil, he will use all the tools he have in his hand. They tried everything you can imagine with me. Everything in the book of the devil. From offering money, women, jobs, anything. Just to make me stop. Be vigilant and be smart. Now, we will continue this topic and uh, I'm going to save this link uh, so later we can have it uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the coming video so we, can, you know, we continue exposing them. And trust me, my friend, not a single thing in the Quran is scientific. It's a stupid. And even in their own page, they expose the Quran themselves. Like here, when it says, uh, just to show you how easy for Christian prince to get Islam busted it says and we made from the water every living thing if you ask the Muslims is everything living is from water they say yes I say okay what about the angels a smart Muslim will say to you oh no 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 he's talking about the earth okay but isn't it the genie living the earth the genie in the Quran says Allah created him from fire Didn't he? So how he say, and everything is created from water. Stupid mistake. Every living thing made from water. Chapter 7, verse number 12. Allah speaking about what happened between him and shaitan. He said to him, what what make you stop from bowing down to Adam? And here the story is a stupid. I mean, why why even Allah He want Shaitan to bow down to Adam? Allah is a person who is promoting shirk, because I thought we should not bow to anyone save God. But look, Allah here is ordering the angels to bow down to Adam, and then Adam did not bow down. But Adam, sorry, Shaitan did not bow down. But uh, but Shaitan is not an angel. And here another mistake in the stupid Quran. Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam, but Shaitan did not. But Shaitan is not an uh, angel, you idiot. You said angels. You said angels. Hey, angels, bow down to Adam. So why are you upset from Shaitan? And then Allah, he said to Shaitan, why you are not bowing down to Adam, Shaitan? Shaitan, he says, well, you created him from mud, which means water and dust. And you created me from fire. So how the stupid Quran says, And we made it from the water every living thing. So do you see how easy to get the Quran busted? Do you see how easy it is? Genie, they live in the earth. They are not in heaven. If they want to say to you about those who created an earth, well, Adam and Genie, 
all of us supposedly according to Islam are created in heaven because remember Adam himself was in heaven too <laughs> stupid cult garbage in garbage out thank you all for being here and thank you for those who support us in every way in every mean by translating by posting the videos and by donation may the Lord bless you and we are victorious by him not because we are better than the Muslim we are not better than you no we are not supremacists like Islam. Islam teach you if you are a Muslim, you are clean. The kuffar are dirty and clean, najis. We don't believe in such a garbage. We believe that God, he loved the world. So he sent his only begotten son. So my fellow friends, my friends, my family, my brothers and sisters in Christ or in humanity, Muslims in Indonesia, the Lord, the Messiah, he love you. He loves you. And he do not treat you differently from us. He wants you to be with us. He want to take you home. He want to take you to a real heaven, not Las Vegas. He want holy people, not a bunch of pimps. So my friend, I invite you to accept the Messiah. They are lying to you about every single thing they say about this book. It is a fraud. It's a stupid. It's full of lies, it's full of garbage. And as you see, each time we read a verse, not only we find it's not scientific, we find it's full of errors. So next time we will go live on air, we will open this website again or maybe i will do it another day because maybe i will do a video for this insane so we can laugh more because he is the best comedy ever we will see which one we will do uh, first thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you and until we see you soon again christ is lord islam is false and we prove it every day take care